Hello, everybody. <coughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I am Brucify, and... No. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brucify, and welcome back to Ex Pokemon Explorers of Darkness. Where we last left off is, well, we just got invited into the guild, and now we appear to be sleeping, so... Let us continue. Oh, are you still awake, Brucify? My heart's been racing all day today over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow. <coughs> but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a bit sleepy, a little sleepy. Let's give it all our all tomorrow. Okay, Brucify, good night. Um, now I'm suddenly apprentice. Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be, be in an exploration team, and it's fun to be friends with Turg. But first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I'd better focus on on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should be clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in the in time. <clears throat> so, one thing you should note, this is not a spoiler, but one thing you should note is the way I become a po way you become a Pokemon is not the same way in the first game for the people who play this. Nine Tails is not involved in this one. You know, just, sorry, did I spoil the first game? Should have should have watched the damn video then, just kidding, but yeah, sorry to anyone who didn't know, I mean, hey, wait a minute, if you haven't played the, if you haven't beaten the first game to the end, then why the, why are you watching a random person play the second one, get out, you can save a record, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, save it by going to bed, hey, hey there, rise and shine, ugh, my head is pounding, what is it? wrote a ridiculously loud voice, almost blasted my eardrums, and of course it's Loudred. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh, my poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm Laprentice. If you're if you're late for our morning briefing, you sorry. So move it. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has has got a big temper if you make him lose it. Yowie! That would be one one very scary scene. I got goop bunch just thinking about it. Yeesh. So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble just because your rookies are gotta play. So get in gear. Urg, my ears are still ringing. What did you say? Something about getting ready? Er, oh yeah. We signed up as an apprentice at Weekly Tough Skill. That's right. But that means, wow, we totally overslept. We've got to hurry, Brucify. Okay, have you ever, have you ever fell asleep? Have you ever went to a friend's house? And slept over at their house, but when you woke up, you're like, "Where the heck am I?" That's that's happened to me a couple times where I wake up and be like, "Oh yeah, I st I'm staying at this person's house." <laughs> yeah, funny stuff. All right, so this is where we begin our training. Let's go. There's the gang. You're late. Oh, I'm sorry, Loudred. Please just stop yelling at me. Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. Hum. Everyone seems to be present. Very well, let's go, let us conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. This is a snarfle. Guildmaster. Tough. Never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, he. You got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Eek, his, uh, his eyes are wide open, but he's at fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay. Yeah, he uh, he's sleepwalking. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know how that. Okay. Okay, Pokemon, take our guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. A one, a w two, a one, two, three. One. Don't don't shirk work. Two. Run away and pay. Three. Smiles go for miles. I I, I never I'll never forget the smiles go for miles because you see that every time you wake up. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! All right, let's get. To, all right, let's get our. Let's get our head and gear. Oh, you don't. You don't have anything to say to me? 
Oh. Hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around. You two, come here. I, I wanna... <laughs> I actually wanna explore before we actually dig deep into the dungeons. Oh, and just like the first game, there is a bulletin board where we get our missions. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with some this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up. Ooh. In the first game, in the first game, what was causing their causing their anger was was the uh, all the tremors and all the chaos in nature, which is why why a lot of lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up. Time as in hours and minutes. D do they mean something has gone wrong with the time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely, time ge getting out of whack is ca has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that. But how does that work? Like, does... I guess because they think the t world is ending and they're getting angry? I don't know. Like... Like, I, I'm thinking Fallout logic. Like, if the world's ending, if the world has ended, and you're still one of the few left over, then there will be pe bad people, but there'll still be good. There will still be good people because they know there, there, there's humanity still is present, and that they're willing to, that they need to sur work together to survive. We have noticed an increase in number of jobs. In addition, and it's known if this is because of time influence. There's been also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons? Yep, that's the that's kind of the name of the game. So there wasn't mystery dungeons. I don't know what this would be. We just explore the darkness. We just be in a room with the light off. You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday. The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in a dungeon, you'll lose all your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked out. There are very strange places. But every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They are really fantastic places to go exploring. Man, if you saw my rage at those 99 floor mystery dungeons, then yeah. Well, you're quite formed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah oh, yes, maybe this one will do. Alright, let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my pre precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. I just can't... Settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place at the top of my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It is said to be on a key bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could go, I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be, be so as so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team from Spoink. Wait a second. We're only supposed to fetch an item that someone's dropped. I'd rather do something that's more of a venture. I'd rather look for treasures or explore known places, things like that. Hush! Yikes! It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat things again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if you, there if you faint. You'll lose all your money and you could lose half your items or more. You best be careful. If you understood all that, I suggest on with your job. Hmm. Okay, so, dang it! We don't get to explore the... We don't get to explore the pl town yet. We have to do this first. Uh, Spoink's mission said the pearl is deep down on the B7 floor. So, seven floors. It sounds... Let's be careful. Let's do our best. Okay, so here we go. Drenched Bluff. And we got a... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, we are in. And we we start off in a room with, uh... I can't count. Four. Well, now, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. One important thing. No. Hang on. Wait, that's how you open the bag? Is it square? Okay, so... No! No! 
team. So you can check their IQ, and... Oh yeah, it looks like they already did it for you. See, I guess they knew that people would want their Pokemon by default to be exclusive move users, so that way, you know, they keep, uh... Trying to use moves. Oh god. Okay, so let's go to items. Let's check the info. Uh... When held, this Pokemon slightly boosts the attack, special attack, defense, and special defense. So let's let's uh, let's hold on to that because we need to. And oh yeah, it doesn't leave the inventory; it's, it stays in there. Oh my God, please! Oh, boost special defense. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I want this one because I'm the main character, of course, and I'll give this one to Turk so he doesn't feel left out. We'll just do this, wait for this guy. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I, I keep getting... It's X. Okay, there we go. For those who don't know, I am using a PS4 controller to play this, so... Yeah. Okay, can you, can you please? Please! Wait, what? Okay, okay, there we go. Okay. You know what's sad? This will be the last Mystery Dungeon we can pl really play. The... The Super Super Mystery Dungeon... Or, not Super Mystery Dungeon. Well, Super Mystery Dungeon and Gates to Infinity are both on 3DS. And 3DS emulator is kind of wonky. I tried it out and it's like, you have to do this with the ROM. And I'm like, I don't know how to do that. So it's kind of wonky, but it, it worked. I've, se I've seen it in action, but like to get it to work, I don't feel like going through the effort. I'm lazy, okay? I'm lazy. So yeah, when it becomes more convenient to use, then I'll use it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, one... Uh... Oh, wow. I keep forgetting to press square to get out of that menu. Okay, so circle. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that Belly is back. In Gates to Infinity, they actually got rid of it, and... Which is good, because Belly is very, very annoying. I hate it. I hate Belly. I get it. I get it. It adds, like, a survival element to the, uh... Get out of here. Screw this. I get that it adds a survival element to um, the game, but it really is more of an inconvenience because it just it's just another thing you gotta carry. So rather placing strategic items into the inventory, you gotta place apples and stuff. Right. We are almost there. Oh, yep. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's good. Oh, okay. Just pick that up. I thought it was like a protein or something. I forgot about max elixirs. And that's another thing I, I don't like. If you run out of moves, you're kind of screwed. Because the the standard... These attacks... These tackle... I don't want to call them tackle because it's not tackle. But these this tackling attack does such little damage and in like uh oh crap okay good good you're good and in uh harder dungeons you're kind of screwed all right so it's oh what, what what oh i'm hitting b can i can we stop can we please it's gonna take me a while to get used to these controls like holy Square, square, no, square, circle, ground, thank you. Oh my sweet lord. I don't know how a PS4 controller can make the game more confusing. Oops. I really don't understand the point of this. I guess they see the map better. No. There we go. 
Oh, Big Apple, nice. So, my one of the problems with the first game was how unfair it can be in a lot of the dungeons. Uh, this game mostly fixes it. Uh, they, they definitely seem to have toned down the difficulty. How they did it, I'm, it, look, it feels like they, all they did was uh, turn down the levels with these Pokemon. The, uh, the wild ones. Sleep Seed, nice. Yeah, wh when I first played uh, the first Mystery Dungeon, I'm like, Sleep Seed, that's stupid. But no, they, they actually come in helpful. They actually come in helpful. Oh my god. They actually come in handy. Uh, oh, and there we go, seventh floor. Oh, look at that. And there's the pearl. This must be Swan's pearl. Let's hurry up and get back with it. And yeah, they, there's no boss. That's that's it. The thank you. Also, I love the remix theme of this uh, accomplishment music. That pearl must be must be propped in my head. You see, I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down with that up there. You know when like okay, if you're if you're kind of if you're a tech guy kind of like me, and something isn't working, like something is wrong. You don't want to go to sleep until you fix it. Like if you okay, let's say let's say you have a PC. Let's say you have a PC, and something's wrong with the PC, and like you're just spending all day fixing it, but nothing you do is working. And then when nighttime comes around and something isn't working right, you just want to spend all, like you don't want to go to bed. You just want to spend all day fixing it. You know, like I I, under, I understand where this guy's coming from because you don't want to settle down. Knowing that, you know, this thing's wrong and this thing's missing because you want to be there fixing the situation. I guess not necessarily with a PC with anything, really. So I was just boinging and sproinging everywhere. That's why I'm covered in, in digs and bumps. But thanks to you, that, that, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. I was rewarded with a protein. Calcium. Iron. 2,000 incredible. Whoa, oh wow, 2,000? All this money for us? Of course, of course, that's nothing compared to my Pearl's Valley. Hello, well. We're rich, Bruce Fight! Just, we just got rich just like that! Well done, team. Now hand that money over if you please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to the Guild Master, you see, and your team's share of money comes out this to this much. Huh? We only keep 200? That's awful! Well, that's the guild's rule. We s you simply have to accept it. Humph. Yeah, I know, like... Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Yeah! And this. You notice that there's three missing spots. That's not, that's, uh, that's not an act, that's not like a, that's not a, that's not a, um, oh, fuck, frick, um, that's not just, oh, they decided to make the table like that, no, that's a key detail, and it'll be, I'll, sh it'll be seen much later. Ah, I'm done eating, excellent meal, I'm stuffed, and now I'm getting sleepy, yep, I'm off to bed, good night, gang, good night. And we almost got this over with. And we are back to square one. Okay. Uh, this is going by fairly slowly. But it's it's okay. It's okay. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is going to be a pretty long series considering how long this game is. So I'll see you all next time.